first you're looking for the real, you can find it over here. You can find it over here. You can find it over here. Yeah. I heard you're looking for the real, you can find it over here. You can what find it over here. Shadow Sweat Box, we back, we live, we active. Yeah, yeah. Uh. Isaiah Thomas for three. <laughs> yeah, we shooting jumpers and we talking NBA playoffs. That's right. The West, the, the conference finals are almost here. We got one game left. No, I'm sorry. We got one series left. Not one game. One series left in the semifinals as Houston got bounced last night. San Antonio wins that series four games to two, moves on to play Golden State. That series kicks off on Sunday. Cleveland, we're still waiting to see who comes out of the East to face Cleveland. Is it going to be Boston? Is it going to be Washington? Boston's up three games to two in that series after Washington completely didn't show up for game five. I mean, they just did not show up for game five. Avery Bradley had a great game. Great game. So the Tacoma boys have just been balling in these playoffs, and I love to see that. But um, I want to talk about the Houston Rockets for a second because they lost a crucial game six where the San Antonio Spurs didn't have their best player. That's right, Kawhi Leonard, who sat out of Game 6 because of an ankle injury. And the Rockets, not only did they lose, they weren't even competitive. I mean, they lost by 30 points in an elimination playoff game. They were not, they didn't even show up. What about your star, James Harden? Had five turnovers in the first quarter. In the first quarter, don't talk to me about MVP candidates when you don't show up in big games. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I am not a fan of James Harden, and I'm not sold. The dude has tons of talent, absolutely. He's a skilled basketball player. But elite level? You want to put James Harden on the same, on the same playing field as LeBron? As Steph Curry? As Kevin Durant? No, 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 no. Uh-uh. I don't see it. I don't see it. You can't call yourself an elite player and then have a performance like that in an elimination game when it's win or go home and you got to go home and you, you might as well have just stayed home if you're going to play like that. He played horribly. There's a shot of him and Dan, and, and, and Dan Tony sitting on the bench where Dan Tony looks like he wants to stab him in the throat. Because he was disgusted at how he played. I mean, I don't know what's up with James Harden. I'm not a fan of his, but I just, I do not believe he is an elite player. I'm going to get a lot of feedback and a lot of response to that because there's a lot of people that think James Harden's a great player. I am not one of them. I don't think his style of play is conducive to winning at least not winning championships. He'll win you some playoff games. He'll win you a lot of regular season games. But I don't think they're a championship team. He needs more help. It's the same blueprint that they had, even though I said it before. Because he has more help than Westbrook. But that's basically the same type of team. You have one guy who controls the ball, and then he's going dis to he's gonna distribute to the rest of the playmakers on the team, to the rest of the scorers, shooters, whatever on the team, score a lot of points, shoot a lot of threes. It's not conducive to winning. The difference between a, a, a team, because they shoot a lot of threes, they shoot more than Golden State. But the difference in a Houston and a Golden State is in a Golden State, you still have a front line that can rebound. You still have guys who can score you got multiple guys who can score off the dribble and create their own shot in both Steph Curry and Kevin Durant. You have defensive stoppers, legitimate defensive stoppers in Klay Thompson, Draymond Green, and Andre Iguodala. I mean, this the Houston is not a good team. It, uh, let me rephrase that. They're a good team. They are not a championship team. James Harden. Playing the type of basketball that he plays will 
not win a championship. It's the same with Russell Westbrook. He's not a good enough team player, and he doesn't have a good enough, and he doesn't have good enough players around him. There's a reason Dwight Howard left. And now you we all know Dwight Howard ain't the best player, but he's still a force in the paint. He's still a big body down down in the paint where you can drop the ball to him and he's gonna make things happen. But James Harden, man, I just he just and he showed absolutely zero heart. Zero. You're supposed to be the leader of that team, and you showed absolutely zero heart in that loss to San Antonio. So, that's my rant on James Harden and his piss-poor performance in an elimination game where they lost by 30 to a team that didn't even have their leading scorer. They're two leading scorers. No, not, be, not no, because Tony Parker was, but they didn't, mind, mind you. Oh, yeah, they didn't have Kawhi Leonard. They also didn't have Tony Parker. They also didn't have Tony Parker. So it came down to LaMarcus Aldridge, Patty Mills, a 40-year-old Manu Ginobili. And you guys still couldn't get the job. Not, I mean, not only could you not get the job done, you guys weren't even competitive. So I'm looking forward to seeing this game six, Boston-Washington. I'm still very confident that this Boston-Washington series is going seven games. Washington's going to win this next game. We're coming back to Boston for Game 7. I was hoping we'd get two Game 7s, but Houston couldn't get the job done. So we get one Game 7 coming up. Not not, not officially yet. We still got a Game 6 to get through, and that's tonight. Um, so, yeah, shouts out to the San Antonio Spurs. I'm ready for the Western Conference Finals. Spurs versus Warriors. It's going to be a good one. If Kawhi Leonard don't play, the Spurs might get swept. Kawhi Leonard plays, they still probably lose in six or seven. But that's the difference between losing in six or seven and getting swept when you don't have your MVP candidate, Kawhi Leonard, who's I love. I have nothing but positive things to say about Kawhi Leonard. He's a great player, fits into that system great. Popovich might be the greatest coach ever. If you look at what he has to work with, <clears throat> all this dude does is a con he's just a consistent winner. Consistent winner. So, um, yeah, we'll see. We shall see what comes about as we get ready for the conference finals. Keep it locked right here. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to get these videos up as quick as possible. My schedule is very busy. I don't know if you guys know this, but I do have a life outside of recording videos for you guys. I love you for tuning in, though. Thanks for that. Um... So keep it locked right here as always. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, yeah. you know how we do. Peace. And honey, y'all. Sweat box. Let's go. We celebrating on this one, baby. This is our celebration. Motivate a whole team like I'm Coach Boone. Put me over.